today from the Emmanuel TV family. The journey continues. The vision remains the same. Changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. My name is Belo Iwoni. I'm from Edo State. The problem that brought me here is difficult in your rating. And I'm using Kadeta. I pray for the woman of God to help me and deliver me and set me free in Jesus' name. God Almighty will heal you and set you free today in Jesus' name. Be healed. Be healed. Be free. Be delivered. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is not of God in your body, be gone in Jesus' name. Freedom is of God. Be free today. Be free. In Jesus Christ's name we pray it. Rise up. Cet homme qui est déclaré libre, il souffrait de difficultés à uriner, il utilise un cathéter. Merci Lord Jesus, uh, I'm free. Let's put our hands together for the miracle working God as he comes forward. That clap is not enough. Put your hands together beautifully for the miracle working God. Espectadores continúan conectados a un tiempo de testimonio aquí en vivo y en directo en Lascoan. Espectadores continúan conectados a un tiempo de testimonio aquí en vivo y en directo en Lascoan. You are very welcome to the Snagok Church of All Nations. Please, can you start by telling us your name, the people beside you, and share with us your wonderful testimony? Praise the Lord! Praise! Jesus. My name is Iwoni Belu. The person stand, stand before me, her name is uh, Angela, Mrs. Belu. The other three children, they are my children. The problem that brought me to this church is difficult in Uriti due to the infection. And I'm um, I'll be passing through this problem. I'll be passing through this problem for the past five months. And this five, ma five months is more than five years. My eye has seen hair. I have done a lot of things. I have done a lot of things that I need to do. I work, work to everywhere. No solution. And I've gone to the hospital. All the hospitals have moved through. They are giving me drugs to treat this treatment. It did not go. Later, they now told me that they are going to give me cardeta. When they give me this cardeta, still the thing cannot work. I'm still having the pain on the cardeta. Later, they now told me that I have to do operation. And they now told me that I have to do operation. And I told them I cannot do operation. What will I do? They say I have to prepare for the operation. And I told my wife. My wife now said, you know where we belong. Is it not better for us to go to back to the church and uh, report this matter? When we now come to church, we come to the synagogue. We were opportune to be placed at emergency. We were opportune to place at emergency. When the woman of God come out, immediately she stretched hand on me, just the way you watch it in the scripture. Immediately she used this atomic bulb to pray for me. Immediately the pain released me. When the pain released me, the next day. Let's put our hands beautifully for the miracle working Jesus. So you mean when you came to the synagogue church of all nations, you were placed at the prayer line and you were prayed for by the woman of God, Evelyn Joshua? Yes. When, I, when, when we, I was played at the majesty, 
When the woman of God, every Mrs. Every Joshua, pray for me, immediately the pain released me. The next day, the next day Monday, when I got home, around 2 o'clock, my body got shocked. And I called my wife, what is shocking my body? Immediately I ran to the bedroom. When I ran to the bedroom, I passed out some substance. Black, black urine come out. My wife now told me that I think the next thing for us to go, go back to the doctor. I reported this thing to the doctor. When we go back to the doctor, the doctor now said, we need to remove the catheter and see what is happening. Immediately remove the catheter and start urinating. The urine start coming out. Let's put our hands together beautifully for the Lord Jesus Christ. That clap is not enough. Put your hands beautifully for Christ Jesus. So please, sir, tell us, how did this problem affect your daily life as a father and as a husband? The problem affect me in many ways because I cannot be able to do anything. I cannot go anywhere. I cannot go to work. I cannot do my business. Even my children, they are not even more go to school. I have even sent some of my property to cure this problem. For the past five months, it refused to go. Until when I came here, when I came here, this is where God see me through over this issue. So right now, so right now, we want you to share your experience when the woman of God, Evelyn Joshua, ministered the anointing water on you that day. When the woman of God ministered the anointing water on me, immediately the pain released me. The pain released me. Instantly, I was feeling sister station, some movement in my body. After the prayer, the pain released me. The next day, the miracle happened. So how do you feel? So how do you feel when you were carrying the urine bag before, before your healing? I was not able to move. I cannot even move. When I was using this character, I cannot even walk because the tube they gave to me is very heavy. Even, I even went to the uh, scan with wheelchair. I did not even know that I can able to walk again. I prayed, I thank God today that God has seen me through, through God of the prophet me, Joshua. Put your hands beautifully for the miracle work in Jesus. That clap is not enough. Put your hands once again beautifully for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So, sir, now that you are healed from this problem, tell us, how do you feel now from within you? <laughs> now, I feel happy because I'm now become a man. Yes, I'm now become a man because without your manhood, you can't do you are just life, you are living dead. Now that the problem is over, I thank God for my life. Amen. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Please, sir, before you go, um, before you share with us your advice, we want to quickly listen to your wife. Madam, you are very welcome to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Jesus' name. Please um, tell us, as a wife, how this problem affects the family. Emmanuel. 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 Please, ma'am, just morning, ask everybody. by telling us your name. My name is Mrs. Bello Iwoni. The problem that brought us here is a problem, difficulty, unity through my husband. As we are going through this pain, it's for, it, the pain is hell. See, the head of the family be bedridden. The, the same place, he will urinate in the same place, the, the shit in the same place, the problem was upon me. We are going this through pain over five months. Over these five months, he has been on hell over me. For the past five months, I don't even know whether I have children because the problem is upon me. 
taking care of my husband. As the doctor, we were running after doctor hospital to the hospital. We were running hospital to the scatter, scatter, to the hospital. As uh, they're giving up, uh, doctors giving us drugs for my husband. As actually, the, the doctor advised us that uh, they are going through this pain. We need to prepare for operation. As we go to the scan and come back, and I call my husband. Daddy, this is where we are going to. This operation is not our portion. This is not our portion, which is December 12th. We now came to this place. We have the opportunity to be in prayer line. Then I pressed my husband in prayer line. That very day, I was praying, the God of TV Joshua locate my husband. The God of TV Joshua locate my husband. You are the holy hope that I have. He was praying. Then I, as the woman of God come outside, every Joshua. And I pray for my husband. As he prayed, I will see her. I will see praying between myself. Tell the God of TV Joshua locate my husband. You are the holy hope that we have. Through that day, the God of TB Joshua, true, he showed himself through my husband. We, the mother, our mother is the Lord, every Joshua. As he ministered the money water to my husband, you can see the cessation. You can see what he's going through. As that day, very days goes on, we go back home. On Monday, which is on the 13th, December 13th, I was at home resting because See, all those years, this all those months, we can't even sleep. What is sleep? You can't, I can't even sleep. I will stand for that hospital. We stay in hospital for good three months. For good three months, not going out, not going in. This is the way I'll be studying. Take it, rise him up. If you want to sit, I have to rise him up to sit. I will use myself to wage him before he sits. He can't even sit, he can't even walk. As very did I advise her that, uh, yes, this is the day. You have to go home and prepare for the operation. That is that very day we uh, advise him that, ah, daddy, let's go to the synagogue. We are going to the synagogue to call our first, uh, we go and deposit the case to God. As we get to this place, truly, the God locates us through our mother in the Lord. As they spray money water for him, the miracle takes place immediately as we get home. Ah, I was watching him. Where he sits down, he was vibrating. He was vibrating. He now called upon me. Come, oh, see what I'm experiencing. I say, don't worry. Oh, yeah, let's go to the restroom. He go to the restroom. I give and put it to urinate. I say, urinate. Ah, do you read that? You see, if you see it. And in my life, I've never seen the kind of urine. Black substance. Very dark. I said, ah, I'm not calling. He was even afraid. I'm not telling him, ah, let's go to the hospital. But you know that yesterday we are beat to prayer line. Let's go to the hospital to go and report to the doctor. That which is the Wednesday, we're not beat to the hospital. So, madam, now that your husband is healed, tell us, how do you feel now? I'm very, very, very happy. When you see a man, being at home, the father of the house, the head of the family, you watch it every blessed day, lying left restless. How will you believe that I will feel? I was being pain by then, but the person that is sick, he will lie, but the person that is taking care of him is the one that is sick, not the one that is very sick. Is the person that is taking care of the sick, is the one that is sick, but now the God has seen me through. Which is that on Tuesday as we be to the hospital? Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. The age of miracle is not past. The miracle worker is still alive. His name is Jesus Christ. If you believe that, put your hands once again for Jesus Christ. So, madam, we want to ask you, what are your advice to the people listening and watching you right now? The word of that advice is that when you have a case that debated to my husband's case, you have to put your hope in God. 
I believe it that uh, the God of TB Joshua, that is, has been touching others, it will make a way to your life in Jesus' name. Before we hear from your um, children, please, sir, let us hear your own word of advice. My word of advice is this. When you are passing through some pain in life, I think you need to seek to yourself and close to God because no man can do this work alone. Only God can be able to release healing. And I advise everyone who is passing through such situation to look for God so that he can be able to seek God. Only God can set us free in Jesus' name. So, sir, we want you to tell us once again, how do you unite now? Now, I'm unite fine. Without my wood, you cannot, do, you cannot live in this life. Now, I'm, I'm not complete a man. Double. Let's clap our hands. So the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So let's listen to one of your children. Emmanuel, my name is Iwoni Evidence, and this is my father, and that my mother and my junior ones. The case was very terrible. To the extent my father could not walk, he was bedridden. Then to feed him was a problem. The only thing he takes was water. And the water, he does not wish to drink it enough. He does not drink enough water. The water, the doctor complained he's not drinking water, his sugar level is high, his blood is okay, but what is the problem? We don't know the problem. All this started at the beginning of this. We were thinking it was a normal situation, but we don't know it was not a normal situation. We went to the hospital, and I told my dad that he could not urinate again. I was like, what? Why is it that? I know all this is happening because the synagogue church of Onishon is closed down. I was like, ah, where is my hope going to? But to my shocking surprise, and the way God loved us so much, they opened the church December 5th, and I was very happy and the church has resumed. So right now, we thank God for how he used um, the medium of the anointing water to heal your dad. So tell us, how do you feel now? I'm very happy. If someone can go inside me and see the joy that is in me, you'll be very happy with me. Because I'm over happy. I don't know who is happy than me yet. Let's put our hands together for the one who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So tell us your word of advice. My word of advice is we should continue pressing on to God. God is the only solution that we have. No man can do what God has done for us. Without God, we are nothing. Y acabamos de escuchar el maravilloso testimonio de esta familia, de este hombre que viene a testificar aquí hoy con su esposa y sus hijas. Él llegó con un problema de dificultad para orinar y lo ubicaron, lo ubicamos aquí en la sección de emergencias en la línea de oración. Él llevaba sufriendo este problema desde hacía ya cinco meses. Nos comenta que estaba sufriendo muchísimo dolor, él no podía orinar normalmente, no podía hacer sus actividades, no podía incluso ir a trabajar, atender su negocio y este problema estaba afectando ya incluso la la economía de su hogar estaba afectando la educación de sus hijos y necesitaba ser asistido continuamente por su esposa. Eh, él fue ubicado en la línea de oración y la pastora, la mujer ungida, la sierva ungida de Dios, 
eh, Evelyn Joshua oró por él ministrando el nuevo agua de unción en su cuerpo. Él dice que inmediatamente en cuanto recibió ese toque de Jesucristo a través del agua de unción, el dolor se fue completamente, completamente. Y al día siguiente empezó a sentir un impulso, un fuerte impulso de orinar, cosa que no sentía hacía cinco meses. Y pudo orinar normalmente, acudió al médico donde le retiraron el, ca el catéter y él eliminó unas sustancias negruzcas a través de su orina y hasta el día de hoy él ha sido libre, ha sido sano y ha vuelto la felicidad a su hogar, a su vida. Su hija nos comenta que está saturada de felicidad, que está llena de felicidad, así como la esposa que ve al esposo actuar de nuevo normalmente y retomar sus actividades diarias. Ellos nos dan muy buenos consejos hoy, aparte de decirnos que él duerme como un bebé y que se siente tan feliz, nos aconsejan, la esposa nos aconseja que cuando tengas un problema, ve a Dios y pon toda tu esperanza en él. El esposo nos aconseja que cuando pases algún dolor en la vida,